Hey guys, Oregon Beaver here, uh, checking the line, first yoda of the day. As you can see, we just kind of got our first snow of the day, or, or the day, I, I mean the year. Um, so it's a little seasonal out here, but uh, here's a young dog I, I had in a dirt hole, punched here. Um, but we're glad to have him. Uh, see you down the line, guys. Later. Hey guys, checking the line this morning. Uh, Looks like I missed one here, or I barely caught it. I don't know how well you guys can see the hair there. I don't know if I just toe caught him or or what, but uh, get this sucker remade. And uh, I don't know if we'll have another shot at him, but uh, we'll see. All right, later, guys. Hey, guys, running down the line here. Uh, second yoda of the day. Nice looking... Uh, dog here looks like a little male um uh, had a dirt hole punched here i i just re-lured this guy up uh yesterday it, it's been on the ground for about a week now and i just touched it with some urine and uh some violator seven just some gland lure and glad to see a catch here finally all right guys see ya hey guys uh just had the catch here getting ready to remake it and i thought i'd share some of the tools i'm using guys i just used the wire brush here to clean the trap up a good bit uh the half inch drill with the auger bit here i primarily just dirt hole all of my traps out here it's been working for me so i don't see a reason to change it up i do have a a couple of flat sets but 95 percent have been dirt hole sets uh so this saves me a lot of time and when i'm out checking five dozen traps for the day guys i just try to be as efficient as i can uh instead of using this guy and it works uh it absolutely does but uh when i'm getting fresh sets in the ground or if i'm doing a lot of remakes for a day during the day uh this just really saves me a lot of time uh wax dirt's going and everything has been for a while it you guys can see uh we, we got just a skiff of snow here last night it's kind of raining right now but it's getting down into the teens every night and it's just it, it's tough to keep your sets working i i tried a few different things this year uh this wax dirt has been working great for me i just picked up a a gallon jug of uh this uh, antifreeze from minnesota so i'm trying that out i'll let you guys know how that goes so i'm i'm, I'm bedding the trap and just kind of layering in this antifreeze uh with all the moisture and with it getting in the teens at night uh it's just it's been a struggle to to keep some of these sets working and uh i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that and i'd be curious to hear what you guys are using uh to to keep your sets working uh i i tried peat moss and it just did not work at all uh with with uh, the moisture and and then the freezing conditions at night and then come back freeze and thaw it, 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 it's tough uh and then i didn't realize how much wax dirt i'd really need this year i ended up gosh i i think i made 150 gallons of it and uh next year i'll probably shoot for uh probably 300 uh i'm, I'm kind of running out and and it's approaching the end of november here and that's one thing you don't want to be doing guys uh is trying to make wax dirt uh this time of the year when we should just be getting sets in the ground and fur on the stretchers um uh, anyhow guys here's a couple tools i use uh maybe try them out on your trap line uh if you if you if you can or you get a chance uh See you later, guys. Bye.